what is it that you want to build? Well, I mean, people think of a, of a symphony orchestra as an elitist kind of in institution. Not a lot of access. I don't really know elitist symphony musicians. I, all I know are people who really want to communicate their love for music with other people. So how do you break down that perception and those barriers? I think it's about not just demonstrating relevance, but actually being relevant. There is a longevity to this work as well, because South Dakota Symphony has a context for this in that they've been working with Native communities for so long. And I think that, to me, was really an indicator that the real work was being done, and that they had built these relationships that, that were so deep and so meaningful. It's always this dance, you know, when you sit down with a Native drummer's cedar flute player, you find ways to make music together. It's not easy, because we're sitting there stuck to our pages of printed music and reading that. Those guys, they don't read music. You know, they, they make music in a totally different way. Both the traditional drum and the traditional Euroclassical orchestra people, you, eat, you both had to get out of your box and accept what that other sound is, what that other music is, and, and put it together and nobody does it like us. What we have is so unique. The music has an aura to it, and what we brought together, that aura goes out to the crowd, mm -hmm. to the people that are there. Mm -hmm. and, and they can feel, you know, they can feel the friendship, they can feel the respect that we have for each other. The idea behind Bridging Cultures, coming out of the Lakota Music Project, was that we can build bridges by sharing what we love better than talking about what makes us different and seeing it as a problem that has to be solved. The whole orchestra world across the United States is following what the South Dakota Symphony does because the depth of its engagement, especially through the Lakota Music Project, and now is flowering in this Bridging Cultures initiative to reach all kinds of cultures it's something that, that's really extraordinary and it's the kind of thing other orchestras are really trying to catch up with. There is no self-congratulation for the work that they're doing because they believe that that's just how you do music. That's how you create an organization. They're not, they're not like congratulating themselves for having diversity or equity. They're simply just doing what they need to do as humans to connect with people through the music that they love. My name is Thomas Fortner. I'm the music director of the South Dakota Symphony Youth Orchestra and the assistant conductor of the South Dakota Symphony. I think orchestras all around the world are thinking about how can we get young people involved with, uh, with music. How do you keep the group and motivate them to a singular direction? The great thing about the South Dakota Symphony Youth Orchestra, we always have to focus on building a really great, relevant, fun, engaging, life-transforming program. I'm curating music for them to hear and to see that's thought-provoking. Whether or not they like it, my goal is for them to, if they really don't like it, that's actually really great. They have to be able to tell me why, so that they can further define their own voice. I hope that for young people, we can demonstrate the value that they feel that they could get from being serious about music. I love it when people get it, when they say, oh, now I understand why this is important. You know, they may not be going out and buying a new stereo system with a bunch of recordings and stuff. You know, it doesn't matter. Even if just for this moment you come in contact with something that's beautiful and powerful and you're able to recognize it. This is something different. It's not about pleasing me so much as it is about impacting me and causing me to view the world in a bigger way. One of my favorite quotes was from a conductor from mid 20th century named Antal Dorati, who's Hungarian. And he said, it is an elite club, but anyone can belong.